It's been a while since I worked at a place with like food I actually wanted to eat. All right, well, thanks, Alpha. I appreciate it. Focus. I don't. I don't think focus does much for you on Gunlands, right? Oh, we get a cutscene. Oh, shoot. For charged, it does. It doesn't. It really doesn't, unfortunately. My mouse is not showing up. It doesn't because you can cancel charged shells immediately. Like, even before the red animation shows up and still get them to come out as charged. Like, focus does affect shelling, but you don't need it because you can cancel the, the charging animation immediately and get a charged shell anyways. Regardless of whether you have focus or not. Cow Slayer has a really good video on it. It's cool seeing him beat up a Tigrex. Party Crash or Basil Goose. Yeah, like, hang on a second. To those of you who might be wondering what I was talking about there about focus not being necessary and you being able to cancel the charge, the charge shells. I know Alpha knows. I'm not really showing Alpha, but... If we come on out here real quick, I'm going to show off this on the Renopolos. So, when you charge shell, <clears throat> you can wait until it... Oh, God, no... Oh god. Fuck me. <laughs> when you charge shell and you fling yourself across the map. Yeah, only would that only would have been made better if I had freaking flung myself into the pit. Monkasteer, indeed. Okay. Let's try that again. So, with charge shelling, right? You can wait until the gun lance glows red. You don't have to wait that long. Like, as soon as you actually hold down the button, you can release it and it will come out as a charge shell. I have damage numbers turned on. So here's a long charge hold. 126, yeah? Mm, let me do it right. Or not? Maybe the first hit was doubled. Oh, sleep mod. Okay. So, uncharged shell is 41. Charged shell was 60. So you don't have to actually hold down the thing all that long. So, this one's awake. If we charge it the whole time, 63, right? That's a long time to charge. 65. 65. Like, you don't need to charge it at all. So you don't need focus at all. The only thing you'd use focus for is if you were going to be trying to get those level 2 charged shells on wide, but they, they are not worth the damage boost and the, and the time investment. There are some people who have put together really well well done um, math comparisons in terms of like, okay, it takes this much time to get to a level 2 charge on your wide shell versus this much time to just put out two regular uncharged wide shells. So there's literally no reason for you to run focus on Gunlands and Rise. Because you can just cancel regular level 1 charged shells like I just did there with no cost. Like, I'm not running focus on this set at all, and it comes out that quickly. So you can't really get much quicker with focus. Um, and then focus will influence wide level 2s, but they're not worth it damage-wise. If they stunned, I thought they stunned when the game first came out. I was like, oh, those wide charged shells, they stun. That's cool. If they stunned when you charge them up that much, that would be rad, and that would give you a reason to do it. But unfortunately, it's just the wear mistake that... that um. Just the worm sake that stuns. We're gonna have to be really careful about these bombs, huh? Ow. 
Ah! Hack. That being said, I still need practice. At the range at which I can do that worm stick. I think you're talking about long alpha? This is a long gun lance. And yeah, it does feel really nice having the extra shell on this on this shelling type. I need to remember I have a guard point on my reload now. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, what? How long was that? How, how much the health did I have there? How long was my health? How much health did I have left over there? Just immediately dead. Basil doesn't play. 60%? Okay, then that's about right. When you're not paying attention, that's what happens. This is a fight I have yet to get used to. With, especially with shielded weapons. We did it with Lance the other day and it was the same thing. I was like, oh man, getting used to avoiding all these explosions is tough. Yeah, to me, guard reload feels like it was made with long in mind. You get the nice guard reload for guarding your your, your reloads. <laughs> and you also get to get that stake out so much quicker. So nice. Very intelligent sentence there. That was supposed to be a charged shell, not not two regular shells spammed. It's fun to be able to use that super armor like that. Oh, hang on, I know what's going on. There we go. Now things should be loud again. I was like, why are things so why are things so quiet? It's because the game adjusted itself to be on TV setting again on its own. It does that every day or two or every few days on its own. Now we get to jam. We're listening to the headphones. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. What a good song. So weird seeing him do that move. I don't know why, it just looks so odd seeing him do like a quick little Rathalos jab. Dang it. Yeah, I can't do those. You can't counter a lot of his moves. That being said, the Vedic Center is nice. This fight requires a different approach with Gunlance.
Nope, that was also a SSP charge shell. Mm. He's tough. Usually prefer taking to this guy and just shelling him from above. Or you mean doing blast dash? Because I mean, I can do this. That's the thing you can do. But I feel very vulnerable up there. You can't guard up there very easily. Lost track of him. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there. That was something weird. I think he kind of like disappeared and went down or something. I don't know. Perfect skid it was. He just landed right on the thing. I thought he was going to clip right into the floor or something. It looked goofy. That's funny, what happened with that Renopolis earlier in the sleep mod? I don't think about sleep mod applying to, web to, to small monsters, but it does. So much chip. I think we only have one point of guard on this set. Feeling pretty spooky. Yeah, I'm not getting the, ch I'm not getting the charge shelling when I want it. Back up, back up, thank you. Yeah, he pushed me backwards into those. Oof. Sleep mod applying to hunters would make Somnicant a lot scarier. A fight like this is definitely making me feel like making a new Gunland set, that's for sure. I don't think hunters take double damage on sleep, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not having that come out the way I want. I gotta probably hold down for the charge shell just a bit longer. Need practice. Of course, the shell staggers it away. Hit the tail, but it didn't quite stick. That's too bad. What a fun matchup this is. I mean, like it's it's difficult, but it's cool taking on Basil Goose with a exploding weapon. Oh gosh. Oh. I think we ate for insurance. It's a good thing we did. <laughs> Not a neat matchup from a gameplay perspective, a neat matchup from a thematic perspective. We'll say that. Well, 
Hello, Diablos. Correct, Delix. This is he's only doing that damage, Basil, because I haven't upgraded any armor in the whole game. So my defense is at 283. But yeah, I'm also glad that he does good damage when you don't upgrade your armor. I usually do that in all the games, Basil, but only to a certain point. This is the only game where I'm feeling like really stubborn about it. Usually it's like a when things start feeling like they're unintended to hit hard, like things are feeling, unintended things are hitting really, really hard for no reason. Like Rathalos rushes by you, it takes like a quarter of your health. That's when I usually would, would change things from how they are. In this game, I'm just being really stubborn about it. He feels like he moves a lot quicker to me, Alpha. Oh god. I just need to stop going for the more committal options entirely around his mines. Like, it, this this fight makes me feel like a lot of my commitments are just really too big. Oh god. <laughs> no stamina. <laughs> It's nice that that's pretty quick. That should really be what I'm using most of the time. Nope. Oh god. Get me out. 
get me out of the tremor. God, tremors are so bad. <laughs> Fix that? Well, cheers, Jack McBride. Thank you. I didn't see when you did, but I really appreciate it. Thanks. The subs are indeed appreciated. They're gonna let me spend- they're gonna let me continue to spend things upgrading- or money on upgrading the stream, even as I have, <laughs> like, housing stuff to pay for now. <laughs> Home improvement costs. Just now? Oh, well, it didn't pop up on the screen, but I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jack. Cheers. Should have gotten the worm steak in there. Yeah, I should be going for the worm steak. It's a nice quick option. Can you block the bomb blasts? You can, yeah. Thank you for the gift sub. Jeez. And yourself. There we go. I see them both now. Thank you. Wow. Thanks, Jack. And enjoy the gift sub fish kebab. That's super kind. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell which direction to block the bomb blasts from. Other times, they're just going to chip me a lot, too. Whoa, he just spin in here. It's cool. Got to make up for not being here for a bit? Well, cheers. That's kind. Very kind. <laughs> there we go. That felt nice. Doing a little poke combo. That's nice of Jack. It is, yeah. fights where guard 5 is nice. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that really hard. My guard 1 feels very lacking. No! No! Dead. That's it. <laughs> Jack, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you for the subs and enjoy Digit Artist. Enjoy the sub from him. <laughs> Alright, take the beans. Got some fuses. That's nice. We need more of those too. Now you want me, what do you want me to do for FPS failure? To not upgrade your armor? I'm not going to. <laughs> I mean, I want to make a new set. That's the version of upgrading my armor, but I'm not going to like use the, use the, what's it called? The armor spheres. Hmm. Now let's try that again. We're gonna have to be more cerebral. He forgot that they were called. I don't use them. <laughs> I should just sell them all. I have so many.
Ooh, blinding bargain. Technique for buddies with a penchant for luxury. Most, much more likely to find rare items usable at level 40 or higher. Dang. Cool. Thanks, Jack. Nice, we got some things we needed there. Let's go through our wish list real quick and make anything that we can to clear some up. Oh my goodness, Jack, you were you were on a spree. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the stream that much and enjoy Credence. Enjoy your gifts up. Can't stop, won't stop. Well, thank you. That's very kind. Very kind, both to me and to the others who you're gifting them to. The binding bludgeon we can make. Hammer. The Volvodon hammer. Give me that Volvodon hammer. I've wanted that design for a while. Now we still need more sacks, but whatever. Whatever. We'll get it eventually. <laughs> you want a refund immediately? What the heck, Biodrone? Thank you for your prime sub. Cheers. You joke, there's actually a system to refund subs directly after, <laughs> directly after, um, after, um, giving them out. So, like, you can, you can sub to someone and, like, have the notification play and then immediately refund it. <laughs> if you want to. Which is lame, but, I don't know, whatever. BRB getting your money back. Something you can do. I would still thank you. Okay, I think we can make the Shatter God now. Or is there another Volvodon Gun Lance in the middle? No, we can make the final one. Nice. Nice. Yeah, when you refund it, Twitch is like, why'd you do this? And there's an option that says like, oh, I just wanted to shout out. <laughs> Ooh, we can make the Rook Slayer Lance. I'm tempted, but I think we need some of those materials for other stuff. Right, I need another horn. Dude, this wish list is insane. Ooh, we can make the Diop or the uh, Basil Goose axes too. Well, we're gonna rematch that Basil Goose. Same set, same everything. After that, I'll probably let you guys choose my weapon for some other hunts as well. I would say the world does have some strengths that this game doesn't. There's some.
Do you have a favorite new monster, like in this game? It's probably Magnamalo, which is a boring answer. Outside of Magnamalo? Let's see. There's Azuchi and Tetranodon. There's Aknasom and Somnicanth. I think it would be Almudrin. Yeah, Almudrin. If Magnamalo is too default of an answer, then Almudrin for sure. I really like Almudrin. Why is Magnamala boring? Because it's the flagship. So I feel like it's a boring pick. He's not a boring monster, but it's a boring pick for like, who's your favorite new monster? Oh, it's the flagship. Of course it's the flagship. It's supposed to like, flagships are like so just supposed to be banger fights. As long as you don't think too hard about like, you know, Rathalos and Azure Rathalos and Kashala. <laughs> but, you know, after those ones. And I guess, you know, Kashala is pretty banger in dose. In second gen. All right, Goss is pretty good too, yeah. It's a lot of chip. He's go he says, get out of here, Delix. Defender proccing there. It's nice. Whoops. Defo Goss or Almudrin. I'm glad people have come around on Almudrin. I think a lot of folks didn't like him when the, when the game first came out. Rachnikadaki is pretty cool too. It's it's true. I don't think about Rach Rachna that much because it's still new to me. Oh, okay. Oh man, the buffering is... Very interesting. Whoops. It'd be so funny if he just fell right off the cliff. Oh man, I really wanted that to hit his tail. Oh, let's get out of here. Ow. Just ate a Diablo's charge. Or Diablo's dig, rather. I'm just healing up around this Diablo so I can hear this theme. It's so good. Alright, bye. Fine. I'll go hunt the other monster.
I think just Elmodron's a lot of fun because he has so many different attacks to get used to, and he's actually, I don't know, it just feels good to, I don't know, to me it just feels good to get used to a fight that has so many fast fluid animations like that. Fifth gen's full of them, it's fun. Oh, it's gonna suck. Ow. I wish you could guard out of that move. Has Riz fought all the monsters in Rise? Nope. I just fought my first Narwa one day ago. So that means I still have a lot of Apex monsters to fight for the first time. Most of the Elder Dragons. And then I think, yeah, that gives you a pretty good idea of where I'm at. Bummer that. No! I need to stop using that move! I need to stop countering, it's so bad! <sighs> it's so bad, it leaves you so open. It leaves you so open. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, I only have one point of guard, to be fair, but oh my gosh, so bad. I miss Nurgante. Be fun to have him in this game. I'll save you, bird! I saved the lucky life from the Basil Goose explosions. Oh gosh, that's not what I meant to do at all. too far away. Oh, I did, a I did a regular reload instead of a quick reload, so I didn't get the guard point. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, I gotcha, Alpha. Oh gosh, you really can't do the slam after that, can you? <laughs> okay, well, that's one thing to do.
Just extra slam there. Uh. Oh. 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 Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Thank you. No. <laughs> Dang it. I almost got away. This is quite the difficult fight with our current equipment. I'm surprised. Like, I think no matter what your equipment was, this would still be quite the tricky fight with, with Gunlance because it seems like it's really easy to overcommit. Which is neat. It feels like I'm only able to do these like little salvos against him. Wow, he just blew up the central pillar entirely. Oh, I need to quick reload first. Whoops. slow. <laughs> Like this, this is a fight that actually feels like it should bring back my whole like poke shell game plan from for you. Come on! Oh, I really wanted that to, that to tag his his tail. lucky. Just like it's so scary blocking any of those because they'll chain into each other like that and just melt my health with chip. expecting those to come out. Come on. Nope. Oh god. Oh, this is a poor situation. Let's get out. Let's get out. <laughs> I thought he was gonna land right on top of me. Hi, Katana. Welcome. I really thought he was just gonna chase me like that. 
<sighs> Save you from what, Katana? What's going on? Hello, Yono. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. <sighs> okay. This is a tough matchup. I'm enjoying myself a lot. Oh, I need to quick reload first. Whoops. Consistently forget that. That's gonna be too close. No, we're good. Whoops. Back is on fire because you went swimming earlier and it was eight degrees higher now. Anytime you move your shoulders, it sends a sharp pain up your back. Did you get sunburnt or like pull your back? I'm sorry. I also hurt my back yesterday, but it's feeling a little better. I hope yours feels better soon too, Katana. Get that tail out of here. Bad idea. Get out. This is. I know that it's kind of bewildering me, and it's also giving me, making me, like, pause a second to figure out this fight. This is really fun. Going for it. Oh. We just wanted that steak to stick. It is quite good, Katana. Rise Gun Lance is very varied. Each of the shelling types has different things to do. It has reasons to use all the different options they have. Oh, God. Like, I'm still gonna use Full Burst and, with Long and Wyvern Fire with Long and Charge Shell with Long. It's kind of a jack of all trades, but there's still reason to use the different shell options with all of the types. Hey Dwarven Man, welcome. I see you like the census dudes who work on that emote, huh? Get him, Tigrex! Oh god. Sunburn on your shoulder blades? Well, I hope it heals quick. Use some aloe if you can. It falls into a good place? I think so. It's not the strongest weapon in the game. Some folks are gonna bemoan about how, like, bemoan how some of the shelling scales towards the end of the game, but. That's just how things go. Those are indeed some good GIF emotes. I didn't even process exactly what I was seeing at first. Because I'm so used to seeing those emotes in his Discord, it's funny seeing them on <laughs> the rest of Twitch. Yeah, it's a classic issue, Katana, yeah. Yeah, definitely Freeman Knight. Freeman Knight is one of the games with the worst scale shelling, I do believe, yeah. Especially compared to the, like, the raw damage we shall get from purple. But yeah, I, I, I actually really enjoy where Gunlance is at in this game right now. At least from what I've seen. I'm not intimately familiar with the balance of it, the end of all things, once you've gotten all the Elder Dragons farmed up and everything, but we'll see. Okay, is Tigrex leaving? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, more AoE around that move than I thought. If you want to see someone who's, who balls out on Gunlands, I think it's Kenta. Or, or Roman, I forget. Oh, really? Man. <laughs> Dude, this thing does so much damage to us. Oh my god. No, not Kanta. Kenta. There you go. Basil's a cheeky fella. He's destroying us, dude. That's the second triple. It's okay. I was having fun with it. All right. Triple, triple incoming? Maybe so. I think what we need to do is we need to we need to work on this set. Even though I think our actual our new set would probably actually give us <laughs> less attack skills and just more guard. How are you today, Fal? Hmm. 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 Hey, Ken. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're getting beaten up by Basil Goose right now. Trying, how are you? New job treating you well? I haven't worked a ton this week. I worked on Monday, Tuesday, but I've had some days off since then. Days off have been more stressful than days on this week, turns out. <laughs> the apartment is kind of a mess right now, so. Feeling a little stressed out by some of that stuff. Let me take a look at the jars. <laughs> I'm not totally sure, Katana. I'm sorry. I see what looks like a Fatalis in the tower, which is cool. Sorry, Katana. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not totally sure which. But yeah, an old Freemanite Roman. That's okay, Ken. I've had a week that felt kind of like that tomorrow. Or, I've had a week that kind of felt like that this week, so you're all good, man. Rest up. That's why I wasn't here last night. I was just kind of feeling a little bit ran, run down. <laughs> I hope your travel tomorrow is safe, bud. And I hope things smooth out for you soon.
<laughs> equipping that right after the uh <laughs> right after the Renopolis ones made it look like my arms just shrunk like a foot <laughs> okay all right let's get some artillery in there there's some artillery legs we can run probably just the basic use ones right Shrunk like a foot? Yeah. <laughs> it made it look like our arms shrunk a lot when we switched from the really long Renopolis arms to the like not long. Honestly, we should probably keep them. But I hate them. So like whatever. Just beat Basil easy. Well, that's what I was trying to do. Where's that artillery gem? Wait, I can make attack and expert jewels? Oh, I didn't realize that they came from blood run jewels. I thought that these things came from uh, Lazarite. That's pretty nice. Cool. Oh, there it is. I can make exactly one of- oh, no, I have one. When did I make one? Let's make another. When did you make one? I don't know. I, it could have been earlier tonight, is what I'm thinking. This hurts, but there you go. Oh god, I hate this chest so much. It looks so bad. Could get some more offensive guard and load shells in there. I think new different legs would be good as well. These legs are pretty bad. Truly the next level of fashion. I hate it. I hate this chest so, so much. So, so much. Um. Mmm, offensive guard is a level three deco. Interesting. Can probably get load shells in. Yeah, we can get load shells in for sure. Cool. Bless that waste. That waste is good. Cool. can make so many of these decorations now it's really crazy i'm not used to being able to make so many decorations <laughs> i don't think we have any level three slots in this set so we can't get any more offensive guard on our own Maybe Fortify Deco? I don't like Fortify anymore. I don't know. Something something hit me in the last game or two where I was just like, I don't like benefiting from a lose state or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly why I don't like it. I just don't. <laughs> it's like I don't like planning to be down. Like it might be practical to be, but I don't know. There's something about it that feels cheesy to me. Does have more defense, has about 50 more defense before eating too.
Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, Credence. I think I might make my first piece of layered armor, if I can. No evade extender though. I have one point of evade extender on. Um, I feel like I should replace these legs with something. I guess they're waiting to be swapped out for the basil goose legs. That's fine for now. That's fine for now. Layered, layered armor also just strikes me as really weird, but there's not much I can do about that right now. I think that this will look good enough. Oh, but the cape and the waist clip so bad. That sucks. <laughs> cape and the waist clip so bad. Alright, well, guess not Damascus. I'll just get ing- I think I'll just make the ingot arms and waist. Where's ingot? There it is. Yeah, we'll just make those two. Aha, it takes ore. That makes sense. That's my first two pieces of layered armor. Ah, you have special and then low and high rank. Interesting. Okay. Oh no, not that. Whoops. Okay, so you can never change that black color. So I think I'm gonna start off with kind of a dark look. I'm not gonna go too hard on this right now because we're probably gonna go ahead and change this once we get the basil use pieces, but that's what I'm going with for now. There. That looks good to me, I like that. Equipment loadouts, gun lance. This is definitely a look. I don't know. I think it looks good. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> yeah, I think this looks dope. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, the pre-layered. Yeah, pre-layered it's Brad. <laughs> the Renafo's chest is a death sentence. Let's try that basil goose again in our new set new set has more guard new set has slightly less attack more guard more defense might be more what we need for that fight anyways plus we look way cooler so like obviously that's what's gonna help us out
Whoops. He'll be intimidated by the sense of style. You know he will. Look good, feel good, play good. Hopefully so, yeah. I do think it's going to look really nice. I feel like I'm like posing as like a souls as like a souls character. This is my idea of like what all the souls armor looks like. It's like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of like black flowing like hair physics and leather and stuff. Is the fire res any better? Fire res 10, defense 346. So I think we'll get melted slightly less, which is good. Oh gosh. <laughs> Almost a hundred more. We had we had two eighty before. So I mean like we're sixty more defense, but I wouldn't call that almost a hundred. Well, we kept the most important parts of the loadout, which were the artillery three, the load shells, and the evade extender, probably. Up to the guard, up the defense. We'll see how we do. The only other, like, basically all we dropped were two points of attack, which, I mean, the difference between attack two and attack four is pretty big, but attack four is when you start getting the multiplication. But I think this will be okay. Feels bad, man. God, no. <laughs> I didn't back off in the right direction. Going. Okay, I tried to get out and I couldn't. Be careful here. We're really close to dying there. Is it you or is this one kind of big? He is a little big. It's especially satisfying if you usually get out of the way of an attack alpha like that one. He doesn't strike me as that much bigger than the other one we were fighting. Too late, or too early, rather. It's okay, we're fine.
Whoops, shouldn't have traded that. <clears throat> This theme is so grand in this game, it is JJ, man. I should heal after this stake. I forgot to pick up the supplies from the box, I think. Well, if we cart, that's, how, that's where we'll end up. <laughs> or I already used them up, but that would make any sense. Just really be careful about wire falling after that move. We might want to stay down sometimes. Well, we're definitely getting better at the matchup as the night goes on. I'm actually really enjoying how this is making me play long gun lance because it's making me really stick to just really short strings. And that feels really nice. A lot of the fights in this game feel like you can kind of go wild with gun lance's longer strings. But this really is making me feel like I'm just doing tiny little combos. And I, I like that. That feels a lot to me like old gun lance felt. And I, I dig it. Whoops. Guard three makes this hunt feel a lot more doable. Missed it, okay. So what, what should we do on a down like this, do you think? I don't even know. Just like spam charge shells? I guess first we should, before we do that, do our uh, the ground dash thing. Whoop. The ground cutter. What about women fire when he's on the ground? We could do that. I should probably use that as a combo ender when he's on the ground. Maybe charge shell, charge shell, um, worm stake, worm fire. Right, I should be using worm, worm fire more often because it's one of long gun lances, stronger options. Oh, well, those overpowered it. <clears throat> That's fair, Alpha, yeah. <clears throat> I walked right into it. <clears throat> hey, Commander Henkel, welcome.
Oh boy. <laughs> Stayed up too long. Basil Goose, yep. We're trying to make a Basil Goose, some Basil Goose pants, but they take a gem. And he's actually really hard with Gunlance. Or not. Oh, there's that. Let's grab the supplies if we didn't already. We've been having a lot of deaths like that. This is our third attempt at this quest. We're getting better at dealing with them, but I have to be so, so careful with our counters or else we just get melted like that. He went over to the quarry. He left something behind though. Oh, not quite. No, god darn it, stupid forward hop, get removed. I hate it so much. I'm just telling it, get removed. That's what I'm telling forward hop right now. <laughs> that was like my... My gun roll was like, get removed! <laughs> get get taken out of the game. Oh right, no stake loaded. Whoops. Me too, Alpha. Any any day, any day, they gimped those other parts of the moveset so much and gave us this dumb forward hop that like interrupts other inputs in exchange. No, thank you. No. That move is so slow. Sort of Uchi, it's, there's like a little window in between when you release the stick and when it will actually return to being like actually neutral as the game is seeing it. So sometimes I've already, I'll have already let go of the stick and I will still forward hop because I, it's been like either I input another thing before that or I input another direction on the stick before that. Yeah, it buffers it. You saw it happen once or twice there where I was like holding neutral but got the forward hop. It's just frustrating. Is that a thing? I don't know. I would presume so, yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, the buffer is not as bad in World. This game has a distinct feeling of things buffering a lot more than they usually do in Monster Hunter.
on PC, especially Uchi, I'm sure it's great. <laughs> that was a dumb thing to do that counter to. Whoops. So close. Oh no. I was trying to just get away from him. He was just there. He's fast. That move is dangerous in this game. Granted, I never really learned how to avoid it very well in the world either, but... Another shell spam might be enough height to get over the roar? Maybe so. I didn't think about it like that. I wasn't thinking about outranging the roar hitbox over above. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So nice to have a guard with weapon fire. It really is. I like that change. I like that it can be overpowered, so it's not just like a you can weapon fire whenever you want button. But I like that change a lot. I never think about it like that, but I should. I should take advantage of that. Using it as a way to combo into a block as long as you have it up. Especially if you know it'll get overpowered anyways. There's fireworks going on outside. Not quite enough reach there, it doesn't look like. <laughs> yeah. Really? This again? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this move is like really worrisome. You basically just have to kind of avoid them as well as you keep your cool during the first two passes and not walk into a mine and then just get ready to Superman. That's all you can do, really. Nope. So my stick was totally neutral there, but because I had just recently been holding a diff another direction, I back hopped, or I forward hopped instead of back hopped.
Oh god. Nope, too far away. Backed up away from it. Get it, come on. Nope. Hop in. That range is silly. Why are you holding forward so much? I'm not holding forward when it's happening to Iron Man. The stick is let go of when I'm doing that. We were talking about this just a minute ago. There's a buffering system in this game where even if I've let go of forward, it'll still do a forward hop sometimes. It's not even always that you're holding forward either. Sometimes just holding any, like sometimes just doing any other thing with with Gunlands will have a forward hop come out. Some sometimes. Ooh. I don't know. Sometimes you're just holding forward to tell your character which forward. Like you I mean you have to hold a direction and make your character like pivot. <laughs> And that the game can interpret that as forward. Like if I want to back hop right now towards him, I have to hold forward towards this direction. Sometimes they'll have me forward hop in that direction there, yeah? It's just all it's just all messed up. It's just all messed up. Like if I have to if I want to pivot, I have to point forward somewhere. <laughs> It's something where they clearly don't want you to back hop as much as they used to. Or like back hopping is basically just being depreciated from these weapons. I think it's less of an issue with the Switch and more of a, just an issue with how they've designed the control scheme for it. Like I don't, I don't really think this, the Switch has like some massive buffering problem. I think the game just doesn't really want you to do back hops as much as it used to. That feels interesting. Huh. Interesting that that triggered a flash and that didn't set it off. All right, I need to get out of here. Like it triggered a flash, but the flash didn't actually hit him. I guess because maybe the stake was on the tail. Whoops. Yes, a limp! A limp! Wish I could have cut that tail, though. Limp at like 25 minutes. <laughs> Right now I'm feeling torn between like what surely is a better chance at getting the gem from a capture. 
but I want to finish the fight. Is he just eating? He's not going to sleep? What a lame-o. Hello, IRB Goodja. I hope you're doing well tonight. We have been struggling to kill a Basil Goose with Gunlands for like the last hour and a half. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Good time to jump in. Monopolos, please. <laughs> I figured it would, Alpha. Yeah, I think I've used it to dodge roars a couple times. Not in this hunt specifically, but over the course of the game. Hello, Anjanov. Sure, let's get some Anjanov materials, why not? Go back in the Genshin Impact today after not playing for months, how did you feel? Did you have fun? Go sleep. I want to blow you up. Quite a bit of new content was fun. Nice. Yeah, he does sleep up there. See how well you like being blown up. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> That's so jank. Oh my god. It was terrifying it was. I had no idea if I was about to die or not.
No! No! <laughs> Is this last card? Oh yeah, it's last card. <sighs> He's terrifying with Gunlands. I thought it was going to be safe, not safe. Yes! We did it! <laughs> Here, have some beans for a hard-fought victory. Only took us like two hours. <laughs> We did it! We slew the Basil Goose. Like I've, I've, we've slown one, or slain, slown one. We've, we've killed one before this one. We've killed a couple, but this is my first one with Gunlands. That was pretty rough. <laughs> slain. Yeah, we've slain. We've slayed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we did it. Now to not now is to not get a gem because you didn't capture. I know. I know. Ah! <laughs> oh, thank you, game. Thank you, thank you, game. <laughs>